Hey, welcome back to Portable Entrepreneur. So last week I shared with you a video all about how to use website assets to create financial freedom for yourself, to start producing more monthly income, to even use those assets to start building your wealth. Now exactly what that looks like is going to be a little bit different for all of us. We're all different ages. We're in different stages of life. We have different plans and different goals. But my goal for that video was to really introduce you to the idea, to get you seeing the possibilities, to think about opportunities that exist that you may not have even considered before. So in that video, we looked at some specific numbers. That way you could start looking at how to apply this to your own finances and start really thinking about the possibilities here. So one of the biggest questions that I received from that is, this sounds great, I wanna do this, but what kind of website assets are out there? What actually exists and what can I put together to make this happen? So that is exactly what I wanna answer for you today. So we're gonna be talking about six types of website assets that you can own. A few things that I want you to remember is that this is by no means an all exclusive list. This list is also in no particular order, so I am no way rating one better than the other. These are all very good options. The third thing that I want you to remember is that you will have to make a decision about which of these options is going to be best for you. And I want to remind you that you are the one that has that answer. So before you start looking at everything else that everyone else is doing and which option they selected, remember that you know yourself best. You know your interests. You know what motivates you. And of course, we have to look at the topics to make sure they're the right ones and some other factors, but you are the one who is ultimately going to be able to decide. And if you narrow it down to two options, know that you are not selecting between a right option and a wrong option. They both can be the right option. It's just a matter of which one is more exciting to you or which one you really want to go with. All right, with that being said, let's jump into these six types of options. The first option is a lead generation website. Now there's different ways to set all of these options up. But as an example for a lead generation site, this is where you are collecting leads for a business or for businesses. So as an example, you can attract visitors to your website and the call to action is for them to place a phone call and every time they place a phone call, you get paid. Now another way is to again, attract leads to your website and when you are able to convert those leads, you are able to turn around and sell those leads to one business or even a number of businesses out there. So any type of lead generation site, you are the one working to bring in leads and then there's various ways to sell those. Some of them are direct to business and others are much more passive. Now the second type of website asset that you can create is one that is very popular and you've probably heard of and this is an affiliate website. And this is essentially where you again are attracting traffic or you have an audience that you have built and you are going out and finding other products that are relevant to your particular audience or to your site visitors. And when any of them click through and they make a sale, you receive a commission for that. So that is a very common option. Now the third website asset that you can own is a website that sells advertising. Now this can be done directly from you to the actual businesses or to the companies who want to purchase advertising space. And then there are some more passive options where you're not actively having to work with advertisers such as Google AdSense or some of the ad networks that are out there. Now the fourth website asset that you can own is a site that provides a service. Now of course this can be a service that you yourself provide. This can also be a service that you have a team member provide that maybe you already have and you just bring them on, they do all the work. Or this could even be where you are reselling someone else's service or you are outsourcing this to another company. But again, you are the one just bringing in the lead and then you are passing off the work. Now the fifth type of website asset is an e-commerce store or an online store. And the way these are done are a couple of ways. You can offer physical products and you yourself are actually packaging them up, you are collecting the orders, you're sending them out, or you have a company 
who handles all the packaging and everything for you. These can also be dropship type of websites where you have a company who has the products and you simply collect the orders, you send the orders to them and they handle everything else. Another option in online stores that is becoming more and more popular is digital downloads. So this means that you don't have any physical products at all whatsoever to worry about and any of the orders that come in can instantly download the product and you are done. Now the sixth type of website asset is a membership and this is a great option because this can be to sell content or to sell a course or via a newsletter or even just groups and communities. So one of the reasons that some of these options is really exciting is because they don't even require a website at all whatsoever. Some of them for example one of the sites that I have was literally a one page website simply to collect email addresses and then all of the monetization happened off of the actual website. Now in reality, many of these sites are going to end up crossing over to some of these different monetization strategies. So for instance, you may have a content site and your goal is to start promoting affiliate offers. And as you do that and you build up your audience, you then graduate from affiliate income into creating your own product, whether that's a physical product or a digital product to be able to sell. So I cannot stress enough how you really have to start getting creative to think about the audience that you may be a part of or that you may be able to start building or any of the interests that you may have and start to get creative in, in looking for what is it that they are looking for or what problems exist for that audience that have not been solved. These are the ways that we really come up with the ideas for what we're able to offer. And then we're able to go back and start looking at all these different ways to monetize those strategies and and start building up that audience. So again, this is really here to get your mind going, to get those creative juices flowing, to start seeing some of the possibilities that exist when you can come up with a website asset idea that you can move forward with. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you have one of these strategies that you would really like to try out? I'd really love to hear from you down there. Thank you again so much for watching. Stay tuned. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below because I will absolutely be sharing more about this with you here real soon. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you next time.